I'm going to discuss here another problem of application of trigonometry. The question is saying something like this. From a point on the ground, the angles of elevation of the bottom and the top of a transmission tower fixed at the top of 20 meter high building are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the height of the tower. So here we are going to find out the height of a tower. And the question is saying something like this. Okay, as I understand. Here we have a height. Uh, 20 meter high uh, building okay so let me suppose this is my 20 meter high building the height of this building is 20 meter okay and this is my ground level you know this is my building and uh, we have you know in this in this in the top of this uh, 20 meter high building I have a tower right and I need to now find out the height of this tower how much is the height of this tower which is just above the top of this uh, 20 meter high building and you know in question uh, we are going to watch this 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 uh, this tower transmission tower from certain point on the ground and when we was the bottom of this right when we was the bottom of this tower we got our angle of elevation as a 45 degree but when we was the top of this tower from the same point on the ground we got our angle of elevation 45 degree we got our ang uh, sorry uh, we got angle of elevation 60 degree all right so now see there are two cases first we was the bottom of the uh, this this transmission tower we got 45 degree angle of elevation because lower the height lower will be the angle of elevation and we we, ha uh, we was the top of the tower greater the height so angle of elevation is greater 60 degree now we need to find out the height of this so how to find out and as I used to say every time first you need to see the right angle triangles what are your right angle triangles so here I'm going to watch two right angle triangles one my right angle triangle is uh, right angle triangle A B and C and another right angle triangle I do have uh, you can see D B C and again next thing is what is common there is there anything common yes in both of the triangle if you see the base BC is common both of the right angle triangles are based on the base BC see here triangle ABC right if you see here triangle ABC BC comes here and triangle DBC comes here triangle DBC comes here in both BC side side BC is common so this is our hint to solve the question I mean something is related to with this now First, what we have to find out, just uh, uh, look on that thing, right? First, we have to find out the height AD, you know, this AD we need to find out. And we cannot find out AD until we don't know BD, right? So, for that, to find out this AD, we have to find out the complete BD, right? And to find out the BD, what is what we need? We need at least two things, right? Either we need two sides or one angle of elevation or one side, right? So, here to find out the AD, only one thing is still given that is 60 degree angle of elevation so we need one more side either we need CD or BC question is already giving you the clue that is BC is given when something is related there yes so we have to first find out BC and we can easily find out the BC with the help of the triangle small triangle ABC because in a smaller triangle two things are given AB and angle of elevation as I used to say in a right angle triangle if you have any two things either two sides or one angle or one side then you can easily find out the every corner and every sides and and, and uh, everything you know of, of that right angle triangle so in this right angle triangle ABC we have got two things one is angle of elevation 45 degree and uh, one perpendicular opposite we have so since we have two things so now we can easily find out this also and we can find out this part also but what we need to find out we need to just find out one thing that is BC so once we get this BC again we'll be using the bigger right angle triangle that is DBC and we'll be finding out BD alright and once we get the BD we'll subtract this AB and we'll get this AD height of the tower okay so let's first work on the right angle triangle a small right angle triangle right in right angle triangle uh, ABC tan 45 degree now another question comes why I'm using tan 45 degree why didn't I use sine cos or something else because I every time used to say whenever you have to write the ratio you have to see what you have got and what you need to find out we have got here this perpendicular right or you can say opposite and we have to find out here now BC BC is my base so another is base and relationship between the perpendicular and the base is 2 one is P by B and another is B by P 
this is cotangent and this is tangent so tan we need to use because you can use this one also but we prefer this tan right that's I, I feel better so let's use tan p by b so here tan 45 degree will be perpendicular that is a b over the base that is my b c all right so tan 45 everybody know that is 1 and a b a b we have got just here 20 meter and b c so now my 20 meter so b c is going to be 20 meter so the height of or the distance of the BC is 20 meter. So how much we got here? Yes, we got 20 meter this BC. Right? One more method is there to, to, to find out the height of the BC. You can easily write uh, BC equals to AB equals to 20 meter. Because, because in this triangle if you see this is 90 degree, right? This is 90 degree, this is 45 degree and to complete the 180 degree this must be 45 degree. So here uh, this is C here. There are two equal triangles in a triangle. So if you have in a, in a triangle, if you have two triangles equal, right? This angle and this angle is equal. It means this is a isosceles triangle. Since two angles are equal, this both these both sides should be equal, right? Because here you can write because triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle you can do in the shortest way also if you want all right but since we're using trigonometry like learning trigonometry application of trigonometry so it's better to do with this we can do that one also nobody will say anything to you all right so we got the height of bc now and getting height of uh, getting height not <laughs> distance of bc is a beautiful things for us the very good things for us because now in the tr uh, bigger triangle dbc we came to get two things now we get in the bigger triangle we get the base right we got the base here and we have already got the perpendicular and since we got the two things in a right angle triangle now we can find out everything if you want to find out you can find out dc also you can find out db also but we don't need dc we just need we just need this whole height height of this uh, height of this uh, house this this building which is 20 meter it is already given and plus this this completely we will get now right so let's let's uh, again apply this c if you see the bigger triangle, triangle DBC, right? This is your base, right? And you got here the perpendicular, right? So base and the perpendicular again we'll be using the tan ratio, okay? So now, uh, in in uh, right angle triangle, right angle triangle, triangle uh, DBC. This is DBC tan 60 degree. So what is my tan 60 degree? Yes, that is perpendicular. Perpendicular is how much? That is BD over the BC. BC. Now there are two uh, two ways to find out the value of AD. If you want to just solve this part and you want to get the AD value, then what you have to do in the place of BD, in the place of this BD complete, you have to write first AD part and then AB part. So AD and then AB and then whole divided by BC if you solve in this way you will directly find out by solving this you will directly came to uh, get the value of AD but if you use your BD value only so first you will find out this BD value and once you get the complete BD value you have to subtract at last AB value and you will get the height of this tower this part you will get alright so I think it is better to directly find out here AD only alright so now let's put all the value uh, you know the tan 60 degree that is root 3 and now the the value of AD if you look in the triangle value of AD that is not given that we need to find out and value of AB we know that is 20 meter alright so let me write here AD plus 20 meter and whole divided by BC BC is already we have find out that is 20 meter again so here now we are going to get 20 root 3 equals to 80 plus this 20 alright and now this 20 I can put another side so I'll get 20 root 3 minus 20 equals to 80 so finally what I got my 80 is going to be equal with 20 I'm going to take common here also here also and I'll get root 3 minus 1 meter so 20 root 3 minus 1 how much I got yes I got 20 minus 20 this is 20 all right I got 20 root 3 minus 1 
this is my height all right you can further calculate like uh, root 3 value you can put uh, there is 1.73 something and minus 1 you can do right and it will be 0 0.73 times 2 you know like that you can do uh, it will be something 14 15 height I don't know uh, something like that you'll get all right <coughs> so we find out the height of AD so here again I want I just want to tell you first you need to find out what are your two right angle triangles and see what is the common thing like here we had got the base you know it, it may not be in every questions but in many cases like this you'll get what is the common parts right there is some relationship try to find out means first what is you need to find out what you need to find out that common thing first you should know right so I, I try to find out the common thing here right I just find out this common thing and then again I apply this right so you should know that and which ratio you should know that also you should be aware of that uh, how to find out the ratio I mean tan say cot what you have to use it depends on what you have got and what you need to find out here here we had got this part and we need to find out this so this was perpendicular and this was base right so the relationship between the perpendicular and base you can use any one either you want to use tan or cot that's okay all right and try to solve i will be doing more problems catch you in the next video goodbye